Hey everybody, this is Quinn Pack with Let's Play Freddy Fish 4, and um, yeah, I'm gonna keep ignoring the obvious and click on other stuff. Can I drink from the tap? Hi, youngsters, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loop. Are we all saltwater here? Isn't this the ocean? Not brackish. One sweet potato soda, please. Sweet potato soda? Oh, can soda. soda. It sounds really good. I wonder if there's like oh, <laughs> drops it. Oh, I was about to say, it does drop it? Ouch. It looks like I could click that. <laughs> oh god, they drank it. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna talk to Saltwater Stella. You hey, you know anything about rustlers? rustlers around here lately. Rustlers Did you tell me who well, rustled me in the bed last night? Suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. The one with the paper oh, under it? Oh. They left a clue. Thank you. I love how she gave a direct answer. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish. So how, what cousin? kind of fish is Cal Freddy Andy. if she's related to a catfish? Think about that. Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible. I guess that would oh, she expressed that pretty hard. She was like, that's terrible. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish. That's good because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. Feel free to... Well, I know, rustling so someone else's hog, you're going to need permission for that. And I mean permission not at the time, but permission forever. Not a change of mind kind of thing. Always understand rules of consent, boys and girls. One orange peel soda. Oh, orange peel. Ugh. You bet. Yeah, if it was orange soda, sure. Like, ugh. Ugh. Okay, I am supposed to click it. So we're gonna not click the next one. We're gonna let it fall, depending on the flavor. Alright, I'm just curious. I don't wanna know if she does just drop it. What other flavors you got? Oh, walnut's pretty good. I don't know carbonated. Does anybody else know if walnut carbonated is good? Oh, God. No, you're not drinking that one. We're going to drop it. <laughs> um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. In The Sims bust an owl way long ago when we played it. We, there was a mini game where we had to serve drinks. Ooh, pumpkin soda. Now that's what I'm talking about. I drink pumpkin soda. Easily. Doesn't take much to react to grab it. Luther is strong, man. A tiny fish like him picking up the whole full glass. I think always got to share a glass, like it's a couple stuff. Oh god, maybe I should have let him drink the walnut. He has different reactions? That's crazy. I've been missing out. One bologna soda, please. Oh, yes. Bologna so soda? What? I... Carbonating the, the meat? Oh, look at, look at the color. It's so good. It's so good. It's like the brightest pink ever. I'll be honest, I never really did, did did this before. I've just never done it. I don't think I've played Freddy Fish for it. I'm really confused. <laughs> I know about it, because I watched Dish Fan play it. Until it broke, but... Arsnip. I guess the pumpkin was... Oh, look at the color. Ugh, that's how you know it's parsnips. Oh no, well, the parsnips are really situational foods. Alright, I promise we won't be doing this whole video. We're already at four minutes. I gotta stop. One more. We're just doing one more and then we're continuing. Oh! Eyeball fruit! fruit. Let's go! Ooh, I remember doing that as a kid. I mean, I don't know where they got the table tennis from. Oh, let's go! Fuck hockey. Alright, one more. Serve it up. One 
Loganberry soda, please. Ooh, Loganberry. Close to Lingonberries. Let's go. Oh, yes. Look at the color. Look at that bright purple color. Look at that nice lavender-y color. I wish this would change their color. Kind of like how Putt-Putt can change his color. We like so many putt -putts. Oh, the song is changing slightly. All right, let's grab the paper. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Yeah, what do you think? A clue? Clue? Not clue? Somebody tried to take a bite out of it. The rusty rustler at high tide. Okay. Memorize the combination and then eat this no. Ah, so somebody nine tried to eat it. Six. Nine two six. There is a nine and a six in the I actual combo. Oh, I had it backwards. It probably tastes like paper. Anyway, we need it. The combination might open that lock we saw. God. Also, Luther wanted to eat it. Well, let's go open the lock. Okay, why are you getting the cutscene? Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Oh shit, I knew it! I, I knew it! Chalk the puss really was rustling kids the whole time. I'm gonna put that man away. Everyone in this town is really suspicious. Oh, everyone being mighty sus. Almost like the whole town is rustlers and they're all after your cousin. It's weird that it's your cousin and not your aunt, but uh, uh, whatever. This is kind of tricky. Five. Went wrong way. Six. Seven. We had the last number correct. Nine. Eight. Wait, wrong way. Nine. Zero. One. One. And then two. two. And it opened. We did it. We did it. Open. Game over, right? It's the end, Boy, correct? I, say, I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. What's that oh, of course not. It isn't oh, as easy as I thought. Well, what did you expect? A collect-a-thon game where we collect one item? Oh, Point-and-click adventure where we only get one money? Ah, you, you notice there's a tire. It's a little weird looking. Not the first time their door fell off because it only held on by a latch. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. Oh, he's got a weird, goofy voice. Oh look, a rocking chair. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Oh, you guys That's hid the hogfish there. so close to the original owner when you took it? That's not a good way to do it. Oh look, the hey, note. Freddy, can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. What if another lock has the same combination? Did you memorize it, Freddy? Also, who's there? No. But they're blind. Well, I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Oh, no, sh it, 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 it paper. It paper, bro. I don't know how it stays not like uncompromised on the water like this. Yeah, hi, buddy. Ah. Uh. The, the girl one, the boy one. Oh, they're all like hippies. What? You know what happens if I try to go in? It's rustlers only in the hideout. Really? Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? You know we're oh, not look rustlers. at Freddy's face. <laughs> That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. What? There's a dress code? If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10 gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine. What? And a fashionable bandana. So what? Purple hats, bandanas, S belts. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Russellmania magazine. They're even doing the jokes. Purple ten gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Buckle by Swanky. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. That is a crazy way to guard your door, Mister. Okay. If you can't confirm or deny, you should have a password system, not a whole uh, costume the lock. Hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. They can't what hear him. You can't hear her when she's that close. Get some new clothes. 
Well, fine. We'll go get some new clothes. Let's be, uh, let's be real about this. What? Pigs! Now we're, you're a pig? Alright, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. You mean the, you mean the piano guy? Is that what they call him? Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh god. It was probably just the current. I guess. Okay. Look, I, I need some help, buddy. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Yeah, I would like a custom belt buckle. Seeing as how you said your calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the material. What? what kind I don't of have to, have to pay him purple sea urchins? What? Yeah, what do you need? Well, have a look at these blueprints. Look at the blueprints. That's why I cut them. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle making. Yeah, but that says a, that seems but this is an M. I, I need it with an S. The part where I actually make S for pajama sand. Years of training and lots of expensive tools, but you wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, what in what in the world? Ugh. So. All we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with the round top and some kind of letter, right? Yeah! That's correct! Well, okay. Well, that seems good. Wait, can I show him the piece of paper? Is that a thing we can do? I think these Russian no. outfits look nice. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat. Purple 10 gallon hat. We don't have a base 10 gallon hat. Also, I guess purple for putt putt. This is like the most humongous entertainment outfit you could have got. Checkered for Spy Fox. You know, his checkered past that comes back to haunt him constantly. Where he keeps getting in trouble and stuff. I guess whoever was working here is done. Oh, the road is open. Oh, but I'm way over time. So this has been Quimpact with Let's Play. Ready Fish 4. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we get to actually explore the world.